Thank you all of you for joining me for this video. I am Mr. Ish. I hope everyone's having a great day or night. I was asked to present a relatively easy and quick video with regards to how rate of change word problems are handled. And I'm presenting a single question here which will be mathematically relevant. We have in this question an examination of a right circular cone. It has a radius which will be 2 centimeters. The height will be 10 centimeters. The rate of change as I'm abbreviating here, it has with regards to the height, the height dimension is undergoing a change minus 0.5 centimeters per second. What rate of change of the radius is needed to ensure that the rate of change of the volume remains unaffected? It seems like there's a lot going on, but it's not too hard. You know you have a radius here of 2, height is of 10. You know volume of a right circular cone is 1 over 3 pi r squared h. The height is shrinking at a rate of minus 0.5 centimeters per second because a negative means it's getting smaller with time. The rate of change of height. What is the rate of change of radius that you would need to ensure that the rate of change of volume will remain unaffected, meaning the volume would not change? You have the formula here. When you're doing rate of change problems, you should basically be thinking about applying a derivative to your expression and understanding what your variables and what your constants are. Pi over 3 is a constant. Volume is a variable, radius is a variable, height is a variable. You would essentially apply your derivative to your variables. The constant can be pushed out as you can see right over here. Then you would have to do the derivative as you can see d or dt of r squared h which is a product of two functions. You know a product of two functions brings in the product rule. You would run this through. You would have r squared times the change in height divided by change in time of the height variable plus the height variable which is h times change in radius or change in time of your radius variable. These variables here are to the power of 1, to the power of 1, to the power of 2. Just bring in your power rule. When you do the derivative of some of these variables, they'll go away. Like the derivative of v is just a 1. You have a pi over 3 over here. The derivative of h is just a 1. It will go away. r squared dh over dt plus h the derivative of r square will be a 2r you know that and then dr over dt now think about it the rate of change of volume must remain unaffected which means dv over dt should be equal to zero and that's exactly what you would have you can bring this and make it equal to zero because you're trying to determine this the rate of change of radius over time which would ensure that as the height is becoming smaller how should the radius behave such that this will remain here zero or the rate of change of volume will remain unaffected. You can push the pi over 3 on the other side and it would zero out too. Now your entire equation is r squared dh over dt plus 2hr dr over dt is equal to zero and you just plug in your knowns. You know your radius is a 2, that will be a 4. You know your height rate of change is minus 0 0.5, minus 0 0.5 plus 2hr, 2 times 2 times 10. That's a 4 times 10, that's a 40, and your rate of change is exactly what you're trying to determine, dr over dt equals 0. You're basically just doing a simple algebra question here, solving for an unknown. This on the other side, and divide by 40, you have 4 times 0.5 minus, which is a minus 2. You take it on the other side, it becomes a positive 2. You divide it by 40, and you're getting here 0 0.05. What does that 0 0.05 tell you? It says that the rate of change of radius is a positive value, 0 0.05 centimeters per second. That right there would mean that your radius will have to increase with time. Think about it. The height is shrinking. The radius will have to change and increase with time to make sure that the rate of change of volume is unaffected. That is, it's going to stay as close as possible to zero. And you've seen how everything has been handled. A positive rate of change means something is increasing with time. A negative rate of change means something is decreasing with time. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching.